Hello guys and welcome to a different video. All right, this video is, is going to be a bit different because this video is aimed towards the people that watch every single video that I put out no matter what. I'm talking about the people that support me in the con comments. Every time I, I do repetitive comment uh, content, they'll say they'll watch anything that I post because they just love watching my content. This is a video for those people. Hence why the thumbnail is only text because normally text only uh, thumbnails don't really attract too many people. So this is a video just for you, the people that support me and the people that really care uh, to see me develop and uh, grow on YouTube and the people that love my videos. So this is directed to you. Before we begin, I really want to thank you, the people that watch me, the people that support me. I want to thank you so much because I've only been able to get to this point because of you, because no matter no matter if my channel goes up or if it goes down, you're always going to be here and you're always here. So for that, I will always, always thank you so much. Okay, as you've seen in the thumbnail, I, I'm saying that I'm selling out and I do want to explain that situation. No, it's not about selling out because I got some huge sponsor sponsoring my channel. It's nothing like that. I'm selling out for a different reason. I'm selling out my principles and what I normally think about YouTube. YouTube for me was a place where I started posting just random videos with no sound, where I just posted them and I, I linked them to my friends on Discord because I had no other way to actually give those videos to those people. And then I started to grow some traction and people started requ requesting things and then we developed the channel until today. That's my, that's how I started. And for me, this YouTube thing is very fun just because it's, it's a hobby. It's something I do on the side. For most of you that you don't know, I don't like being called a YouTuber because I don't make a living out of this. And I'm a biologist. I've studied to be a biologist and that's my career, okay? And uh, I want you to understand that I love doing YouTube and YouTube brings me a lot of possibilities for my future, but essentially I am not a YouTuber. I may be one day a YouTuber if YouTube somehow pays me more than my actual job. But until that day, I will never consider myself a YouTuber and I will only consider this a hobby that I do. I play Epic 7 and I like to share the moments I do in Epic 7. So why am I selling out? I've always criticized on my channel, I've always, always criticized crafting videos. I've always cri criticized um, people reviewing patch notes. Because that type of content is the type of content that you just put out and you try to be as fast as you possibly can just to support lazy players. Who are these lazy players? Those are the players that rather click on a video on YouTube and have someone go over a whole list of patch notes instead of going on Google, writing down Stove Epic 7, clicking twice and being on patch notes and reading them from themselves. So I've always kind of hated that people like to do this type of content just because it, it, it kind of enables the laziness of Epic 7. And as people get lazy in a game, they start listening to people too much. What is the problem? The problem is this. Every time there's a character, there's people that bum rush YouTube trying to uh, understand, is this character good? Guess what? On my channel, I always wanted people that watch me to see a character and know if it's good. By knowing things about the game and by understanding the mechanics of the game, you can look at a unit, you can look at its kit, and you can tell yourself, hey, this is a good, a good unit here, or maybe it's not. It's good for this, or if it's bad for that. So I want, to people, I want people to be self-critical about the knowledge they have. And I think this type of content goes against that and makes people really reliant on content creators, and it makes people really reliant on uh, laziness, right? And that's something I never really supported. So now comes the reason of why I'm selling out. I'm selling out because I'm considering from now on to do this type of content, to, new, to do new player-friendly content, to do patch note reviews, to do guides. I'm considering to do this now. Why? Because I've grown tired of doing the same thing every day. My content has been basically about GVG, RTA, GVG, RTA, GVG, RTA. If there's no GVG, there's going to be RTA. And the, pro the problem with this is I am not a whale. I am a free-to-play player which lacks the resources to build enough units to keep it fresh. 
if I do one video on ML Surin and then another and then another, people are going to say I'm going to milk it. But the reality of it, it, of it is that it can take a month or more for me to build a single unit. And I, I clearly can't use that unit in multiple videos because I do agree, it's milking it. It's a new unit and then every video becomes uh, about that unit. It's the same thing with, that happened with Crow, and it's the same thing we keep seeing with Blingo. So that's the biggest issue on my channel that I have right now because my viewership is dropping. This is something I know I can change, but I know I can change it with editing because I can do the same shit every day. But if I edit videos and if I, if I pull to the entertaining side, I can use the same team all over again. But with the editing, it opens possibilities for cool edits, for memes, for all that stuff in a video. And that creates a new experience for the people that are watching. And that's what I want to do. But right now, I'm on a situation where I'm waiting for YouTube to pay me enough over time because I'm saving all my YouTube money. And I'm saving over time to get a new computer. Once I get this computer, I will start editing videos and I will start streaming as well. So we'll have a lot more content. But the problem is, I can't just do GVGRTA, GVGRTA, GVGRTA until then because now, as my channel's viewership is dropping, by the way, it's not too bad, okay? But once I used to have from 5,000 uh, views to 6,000 views average on video. Right now, all my videos are getting 2,000 views, which in terms of re revenue, it goes down. But for me, it's not about the money. For me, is the least amount of money I get now, it's the slower I'm gonna get to the goal of completing my computer. If, if all months were good, I would, be done, I would be done in two months, three months. But as it is now, it might take five months or six, which means that I can't be doing the same content for six months or four months. So I need to diversify. And the way I can do that is about doing the trash content that I normally consider, you know, selling out, which is just doing content to be the first, but I'll always try to do better than the other people. What I mean is, I'm not trying to diss the other people for doing a bad job at it. My idea is, I want to make it as short as possible. If you guys want to be lazy, I'm going to make, I'm going to make your lazy experience the laziest possible, right? I'm not going to read a full page of patch notes. I'm going to, cap, I'm going to re resume and I'm going to you know, shorten it and I'm going to deliver it to you just so you know what's up. Right, because I think that's how news should be. It shouldn't be a dude opening the page and reading every single line on the patch notes. I think people can do that. You don't need you don't need to watch someone else do that for for you, right? But that's beside the the point. I just want to do stuff that is different uh, than what I normally do. So this means that I will start doing content that I'm probably not proud of, but that doesn't mean it's shameful content to do. It just means that I personally, me native. I don't approve of this content because for me, an end game player, I frown upon that content. But I do realize that there's a big, massive part of the community there that is new player driven and those people will be interested because they don't know how to, how to access a stove. They don't know all the kinks and crannies that every single veteran player knows. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to start, you know, making videos that are new, new player friendly, which I never wanted to do because I think the things I do are pretty much endgame. I'm using units and I boost them with gear and make them work because I'm an endgame player. And I like to see other endgame players watching my videos and saying, oh, this is pretty impressive and this is fresh, this is new. Because that's the type of content I, I like to watch. I like to watch when someone does a counter uh, shuri at 200 speed and you know uses a different comp uh, and it works. That's what I like to see. Uh, but I guess I'm going to change my content now because it's clear that I have a big part of a community that will watch every single video of mine. And I, I am really thankful for, thankful for those people. And I'm really sorry if you don't like the, the content that is about to come. But I really want to do something different because I feel like I'm like, you know, trapped in a prison. Because I, I can't stay on the loop of doing RTA, GVG, RTA, GVG, RTA because I can't change things up. As for the play, I can't do more. Okay, I need a computer, I need to do better, I need to edit, I need to get all these things. And the problem is, I have a lot of video ideas. It's not a problem of creativity, it's not a problem of, uh, of ideas. It's, the thing is, every video that I do here and now, even if the idea is great, I'm wasting a good idea that I could have done on a properly edited video, right? For example, I've, I've had a, a, a video 
on, on the bench for months, okay? I've recorded everything. It's a video where I use one team to defeat floors 1 to 100 in Abyss. This is a great idea, but if I just upload the raw footage of this with me just talking over it, it is not fun. It is a wasted idea. And this is not what I want to do. I want to do cool edits. I want to put effort in my, in my videos. I want to sweat. But the problem is I don't have the means right now. So right now we're in a low side and I need to do something different. Uh, I, need to, I need to keep my numbers up. Because by, doing, by keeping my numbers up, I speed up the process. And if I speed up the process, I can start finally doing proper videos that I can be proud of. And then I'll be okay. So this is mostly a, a video of me talking about random stuff, but I just want to tell you that, yes, guys, I am going to sell out uh, my morals because I normally would never do videos like this, but I will start doing them just because I need to do something that is new and I've never done this. And I, who knows, I might learn something from this type of thing, uh, but I just want to, to let you know this and for the people that, you know, watch till this point of the video, I'm talking to those people. To the people that are still watching this, okay, that's that's you. I'm so sorry if you don't enjoy some of the content that is about to come, but understand that it comes out of necessity because otherwise it's going to take half a year for me to get a computer and I, it really drains me to do the same content every day. I mean, I like it because it's really easy for me, right? I just get my, my phone, I record, I upload, instant, right? But I need, you need to understand that I need something to be proud of or I'm just going to drop YouTube. Because again, this is not my career, this is just a hobby, and if a hobby stops being fun for you, you just quit it. And I don't want to quit it because there is a fun aspect uh, about the interaction of people and my channel and what I do, right? It's like having someone spectating you, right? And just being your hype man, right? You do something cool and they're like, oh, that's really cool. And you, it just, you just feel more accomplished about it, right? And that's, that's, that's what it is. And uh, I'm done with the rambling. I know this video is far too long right now, but uh, I just want to let you know this. And I also want to let you know that I appreciate every single one of you that have gone to this point, right? If you've gotten to this point, just for me to be able to spot you, okay? Go on my comments right now and just say, I was here. If you say that, I'll know you're one of the OG that I'm talking about. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not much entertainment, but from now on, we're going to do different things, and I do have a video scheduled for tomorrow, which is going to be about Mologoras, because we all struggle, and I kind of want to do a guide on Mologoras, and how to get all the Mologoras you can in this game, and where you can get them, and that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.